Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I have a little cameo by my Mr. Wellington. Uh, but first I want to share something with you that was sent to me by a lovely subscriber. I didn't ask if I could say her name. Um, so I won't, but the card, and you know who you are. This is the beautiful card with a lovely note that she sent me. And nobody is going to be surprised. Right, Wellington? I believe these belong to her family. Ah, this is for... Um, I don't know if this is for the death or the jubilee. I think it's the jubilee. But of the queen, I know, I know, I'm dying here. I cannot wait. I've got to figure out a display for all of my memorabilia. And then from Twiggy London, look at that key ring. So you have your clip up here. I got to switch this out and put it on my car. But we have the British flag, the double-decker bus, and Big Ben. I think it's Big Ben. That's what we call it anyway. Oh, my gosh. And it comes with this little bag. Here, we take that out. So the key. I know. Isn't this everything? So I got to figure out um, which keys are going to go on this. Because I can't, I'm using that. And then, this will definitely go on my display. It's an ornament. Right? But I'm going to hang it all the time. And there was a year on it, and I don't know. Hi, Wellington. I cannot, oh, here at the bottom. It's from Twiggy London. I swear it had a year on it. Oh, maybe here. I think it was like 1999, but it's Swayovsky Crystal. Oh yeah, it's right here. Sorry, I lied. 2010. It's from 2010. Oh, look at all these crystals. Oh my gosh, and this beautiful ribbon. And I'm gonna get an ornament holder, like a display for it because I love it. So thank you so very much. And please know that it is very appreciative and appreciated and will get used. Hi, Wellington. I know, what do you need? Do you need something from me? Huh, what do you need? Come here. This is him telling me that he wants something. Oh, I know what he wants, but they're across the room. Okay, so let me get him taken care of and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is gonna be a giant haul. It's a couple weeks worth. I'm so excited that they brought, this is Alex, go away, that they brought these back this year because mine broke last year. But it's a little, like just a little candy dish or whatever, but it's a glass pumpkin. I love the gold on it. So we'll put that out for fall. This is just a hodgepodge of things. Um, I grabbed some more of these to tag my floss for cross stitch. I hang this on them and I put the name of the project so I remember what little bundle of floss is for what. Um, I grabbed some double-sided tape. I don't think this is puffy. I think it's just, and it is acid-free and archival. I've got a project coming up. I'm going to take a um, composition notebook and turn it into a Christmas planner. I saw this on YouTube, we're gonna try it, but I needed some double-sided tape. So I grabbed that, um, snacks. Nobody cares about my snacks. Oh, I grabbed one more of this. I'm obsessed with this navy. Oh, it's a little shiny here. The greens, oh, I love this for fall and I wanna make a bow and a wreath for my front door. And I was like, I better get one more because I don't know how much I'll need. And then these are new signs for sure this year. Um, the double pumpkin. I love how thick they are. I got two 
So I'm gonna try to see if I can separate them so I can decorate them. Although I do love plaid, so. And this just says thankful blessed. I love it. We'll use them for a thumbnail maybe at the end. Here, I'll leave one out. I got two because um, if I wanna leave one, if I wanna take one apart, I don't, I think I can get it apart. We'll see. We shall see. Put that away. Guys, I have so much stuff. Let's get over here. Um, I grabbed this to take to work from my desk with some essential oils. So it comes with the little felt pad. And I think you don't even have to put water in this. I think it's just the uh, little fan at the bottom. I'll read the directions, but I'm pretty sure you take it apart somehow, but, and you put batteries in it and you put one of these with your essential oils and it just makes your little space smell good. And you know, I work in an office. There are directions. I'm sure it's not the best thing in the world, but it'll work on my cubicle. So I grabbed that. Um, if you don't know, I've been collecting fun socks for my nephew. My nephew, he's gonna be going to college next year. He is a, I don't know what this is. I don't know what's happening. Let's just, oh, that's not better. What's happening? Okay, there we go. I need a haircut. So I've been collecting fun socks for my nephew. He starts college next year. I give him cash, but I try to give him a little something else. And I hit the mother load today. So we got YooHoo. YooHoo. These I feel like are my generation socks. Pez. And these are men's uh, crew socks, six to 12. So some Pez, uh, Mountain Dew socks. Who doesn't need Mountain Dew socks? Um, Frosted Flakes with Tony the Tiger. <laughs> and Sugar Pops. I think that's what they were called. Now, they call Corn Pops, but I feel like they were Sugar Pops when I was a kid. But they're Corn Pops. And these are fun. And this is the brand of sock. It is Kellogg's. Um, I think they're under, I don't know what brand they are, but they're name brand. They're not, they're not um, Dollar Tree brands. So they may not have them at every store. They did have like York peppermint patties, but I just didn't get that. I got these. So I wanted to show you how many socks I have. <laughs> so far collected for him. This whole bag is all just fun socks. My favorite were these K-Bells that I found. Uh, is there one more in here? I know there's another one. Oh, this pair right here is my favorite. How pretty are these? So, I have a bag of socks collected so far for my nephew. He'll love it. Christmas time. Okay. I'm just trying to clear off space. Um, I grabbed another pack of these. If you're not aware, these are nail files and they come in a little plastic case. Now the file themselves is not the best quality, but the case is fantastic. I love having it when I put it in my purse or somewhere so it doesn't get like grossed out. The only thing I don't love about these files is once you use them, they the grit comes off really fast. They don't last very long, but to have in my purse and in my office drawer at work is imperative because I must have a nail file with me at all times. So, and I like the little cases. Also for travel, they're great to put in your um, carry-on bag. Now, if you're a crafter, you can put needles in here and put them in your bag and you won't lose your needles like your sewing needles or your cross stitch needles or whatever. But I use them for nail filing because that is, like I said, imperative. Um, first person to guess why I bought this. I love black cat season because I have black cats and I can get all the things. Um, this just says home, sweet, haunted home, but it has a beautiful black cat. What is happening here? I don't know. Oh, one of the boys stepped on my computer. Um, I love it and it will sit out and look at that. The detail, they've come out with all new stuff I feel like this year or at my store in my region, they've come out with new stuff. 
I'm not sure if they have it, some stuff before, but um, I grabbed this for my little desk at work. It's just a one of these little wind up pumpkins. And I have a ghost that my coworker brought me from Target. So I got that from my desk at work. And then I bought this because I know it's a trick or treat bag and I don't care. I'm not trick or treating with it. Um, honestly, it's a nice heavy plastic. I don't think I have scissors here, do I? Yeah. I learned, guys, stop pulling tags with my teeth. So, it has a little, like, I mean, this is not a durable bag. It has a little card stock at the bottom of paper. But it's a trick-or-treat bag that will hold your candy. And then you can draw it up. And there's a little handle. I know. Isn't that exciting? I love it. We'll use it for something and then whatever the lifespan may be. Honestly, it would be a great bag for a Halloween knitting project. If you were knitting something, it would, It's because it's a bucket shaped bag. Anyway, they had them in the black cat. They had pumpkins, ghosts, maybe a green one, maybe like Frankenstein's monster. Not 100%. Excuse me on that okay next up i can't even remember half the stuff i bought oh i do remember these um i grabbed another pack i feel like they only bring these out for back to school time it's scunchy scunchy scrunchy whatever the brand is and these are just little hair elastics i have pretty i don't have fine hair but i have thinning hair and so these are perfect if i need to like braid or tie something back so I just grabbed an extra one to put in my bathroom. <gasps> Look what I found. I found the black cat. This should be my thumbnail. What do we think? Let me get this out of the way. Because I found the black cat. And I'm so excited. I'm going to glue them on to some type of a base so I can just sit them around. I don't, I'm not going to put them on a tree, which they are tree toppers, which is fine. Um, oh, I grabbed a little 12 pack. These are a little appetizer, like little single bite plastic bowls. But I am using these for when I go to Jacob Palooza for my table mate gift. I'm bringing a make and take item and we're going to be using some E6000. So I thought I could put dabs of glue in here and we can use toothpicks because it's we just need a small amount and then it won't get messy everywhere. So I'm gonna take that with me to Canada. Um, I grabbed this little bag, it's plain, but I wanna do some heat transfer vinyl onto it. And this is perfect for that. I don't know price point wise, but $1.25 if you're only gonna make one or two is not bad. You don't have to buy a bunch. Um, this is like canvas. I love bags, guys. I think it's because I have ADHD or autism or something. But, I mean, that is a sign, just so you know, bagging things up. So, yeah, I grabbed this. This is just Juncture, Juncture brand, but I liked it because it was pretty heavy. So, we did that, and then I grabbed leggings. We're going to open this package um, for Halloween time. I think we're going to be allowed at my office to wear in October some halloween -y stuff. Or definitely at least on Halloween. So I want to pull these out. I haven't looked at them. I haven't even tried them on. This is an extra large, 16, 18. It should fit me. But you never know. I mean, things size-wise are always running different. I will tell you they are soft as all get out. Um, they are kind of thin. So I definitely will have to wear, they'll fit me, but I'll definitely have to wear like a very long tunic over them, which is fine. <gasps> but I love them. You know what else they would be fantastic for is pajamas. Because they're so soft. And for $5, I know they sell these at Walmart too, um, but I liked the cobwebs and I'm pretty sure I have a Halloween, and if not, I have a black sweatshirt that I can make a Halloween shirt to wear to work. 
So I grabbed those. And for $5, I was interested to try and see how they wear and they wash. Because obviously out of the package, they're fine. Okay. Next up. Apparently, I'm in a very Halloween mood. Um, I grabbed two, uh, one two-pack of these large zip-top baggies. They're great for storing stuff. But I am actually bringing some floss to Canada, and I'm going to put them in here. So I just got those for my next retreat. This is 100% new this year to my store. I don't understand this whole concept where we're not taking things out of the suffocating bags. But whatever. They had it in this. At my store, I saw this color and I saw green. It is a black velvet skull. It's like velour. Almost like... The green, you know, the moss covered stuff, that's what it feels like, but it's black. I love it. I might even put like a little silver like on the tops just to highlight it, but I think it's awesome because I'm definitely going black purple for Halloween this year. Oh, I know why they left it in there. There's all kinds of like little furries. That's okay. Um, I picked this up. I know I had one from last year that had littler or larger poison bottles. And I wanted to see if I can make something, but I have to see if I can find them from last year. But this is just fun. And it says Black Cat Cauldron Supply Potions, Poisons, Tonics, Elixirs. And just, I love these little signs. And just the coloring there. Doing, of course, there's glitter because we have to have glitter on everything. But I grabbed this sign. I'm going to put it back in its bag because glitter. My office gets covered in glitter, guys. All right, next up. I got... This was a massive find for me. This is called Spaghetti Hearts of Palm. So it's not spaghetti. It is Hearts of Palm shredded like spaghetti noodles. The good through date is... Five of 2024. I pay at the grocery store $5.99 for these or $6.99. I have found them at TJ Maxx and Marshall's for like $3.99, $4.99. But to get them for $1.25, um, they are low carb. They are low calorie. Um, yeah, and they have a lot of nutrients and things. And to me, it mimics spaghetti. So I grabbed, I think, five boxes of these because I will eat them on the regular. So I grabbed them. Um, there are two and a half servings per package. So that's cool. And I have spaghetti sauce. So, yeah. We will do that. All right, next up, I got another sign. This, oops, this will go in my kitchen. It will hang, but I'm going to put it on a shelf. And it, I, the quality again, I mean, just the detail. We have the top and the bottom. You can 100% take this apart. Like, there's, these are held on with staples. You can pull the staples, redo this, use it for anything you want. I'm leaving it alone because I like it. Let me hold it still. Just the ingredients for an apple pie. But it just feels fall to me. So when I do my kitchen, I will... Um, I will set this up on a shelf. And I love it. So I grab that. And then, what else did I get? Let's see here. Oh, I picked up this ribbon to coordinate with this ribbon. The gingham to make the bows. I think that's gonna go. I like it. I'm a funky kind of girl and I love me some plaid. Oh, I bought these. They're just a big football. And my thought really was, um, it just says Fantasy Football League. But if I paint this and then go back over this with white, I can put my Buckeyes right here. So I grabbed two because if I'm crafting with them, I always want to have a backup. But yeah, I think that is super fun. I love the shape. I can also just paint, you know, decorate the back. You gotta get that sticker off. But, I mean, it's fine. Fantasy football, but it would be better with a block O. So I grabbed two of those for crafting purposes. I did get one more of this, so I will put this away. 
And then I got these, I don't know what for, they were just something to show and something cute. They're stickers, but they're turkeys. And again, the detail. Like we have, look at the eye. He's, he's, and his little pilgrim hat. I mean, adorable. And you get six of them and they are stickers. I just thought they were sweet for Thanksgiving. Now this, I think, was a mistake on their part. Maybe my part, questionable. They were in like this, right? They were in bundled up. And they were, all of them were like this. There was probably 12 in there. And so I bought them. I had taken one out, so I knew what they were because this side was out. They are veggie bags, reusable veggie bags. So they're these mesh bags that you can take to the farm stand, to the grocery store, whatever. And instead of using plastic, you can use these. So when I saw a five pack, I just assumed that there was five in here, you know, five in here and I bought them. And then when I got home and looked, no, they, I think we're supposed to take them out of that big plastic and there's five bags in here. So I think I got 25 Five, ten, 20 bags for $1.25. But I don't feel like it's my fault in this situation, but now I know to look for it, that they're just putting mass items out and they're not individually taking them out of their packaging. So, yeah. But I think these are great. They're machine washable. The brand is Natural Home, and I'm going to end up gifting them for Christmas. These will be stocking stuffers for my family because we all need these. I'm also in this, see, it's Halloween's giving this time of year for me. Just a couple more little bags and then we're done. Um, I grabbed some of these. I need to clean my car desperately. So it's just dusty and messy after, I don't usually clean it out too much while I'm riding my bike all summer because I just keep putting my bike in my car, but it's time. So I got that. <gasps> Look at this little trinket tray. They had all different ones, but I'm really loving the egg corn this year. And I'm going to be stitching a squirrel and I have some Dollar Tree items that I'm going to display it on. And this will sit next to it in the display. So I'm excited. And it's ceramic, glass, ceramic. What are we calling it? I don't know. More snacks. Okay, I found these books and I am excited for them. Um, there's some more, but I haven't found them yet. Oh, um, I got Diversity Is, and these are just books that you read your little to talk about, you know, these hot topic words right now. What is diversity? How do we handle it in simple terms? And I think this is important because we're all different. And it just says, diversity is, diversity makes life fun, colorful, and amazing. This book for kids explores what diversity is and how to accept differences. I mean, and so on the back, they have, obviously, somebody is different. They are in a wheelchair. Everybody's different colors. You know, I think this is a fantastic message. Um, and then they have a book on bullying. And it just says, bullying is never okay, but it happens. This book for kids explains different types of bullying and how it can make them feel. It teaches kids what to do if they are bullied. And it just talks about what it is. And I just think these books are great. They're good conversation starters if you have littles. And yeah, I think it's fantastic. So I grabbed those. I have ch friends with children and I'm sure they will appreciate the book. All right, last bag. And the last things I got, I know this is new this year. Oh, I love it. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. It was just pretty. Look at this. I don't know if you're able to see it, but it's just a big spider, right? That you can just sit anywhere. But look at the details. Again, with the scroll work, and for $1.25, this wasn't even in the $3 section. It was $1.25. You could also totally hang this on a wall to decorate for Halloween. I just think that is so fun. So I, and it's big. I mean, I could wear it as a brooch or a necklace. I love it. So I grabbed that. 
Apparently, I'm telling you, I'm all about the Halloween. And then the last thing I picked up were some more of these reusable bags. Let me tell you how much I love these bags. I love these bags. And they are, I think they're... Full Circle is the brand. They are BPF, PVC, BPA free. They're friendly for the earth. They're really, um, you know, there's nothing gross in it. And they're not a reusable plastic bag. And they are fantastic. Some of them have like a flat bottom. Some do not. This one here, they have a great clip on it. And they're thick enough that when I go to wash them out, I just turn them over a water bottle. Like, let me do this. This is how I dry them. I put them over a cup or something and they dry super good and they're thick and they're waterproof because I had a, I put some coffee creamer in a zip baggie to take with me somewhere and put it in here with a little uh, freezer pack and the baggie opened and got cream, but it did not leak. I mean, this is a good seal. So if you see these, I know they're for children probably, but I don't care, I don't care, I like them. Um, and I pack my lunch every day, so these are fantastic to have on board. And I'm trying to, trying to move over to less, just, you know, throwing away plastic lunch bags. Um, if you have littles, you'll have to determine if this is something they can handle or not at the age that they are. They are a little, you know, they are a little um, hard to open for little fingers um, but because the seal is so good. But listen, I mean, it just snaps up and they're thick and they come in all different sizes. So I grabbed this one. This time I have a bunch of other ones and yeah, I use them all the time. So I just wanted to make sure I had plenty because I do pack my lunch five days a week. And for right now, that is how it goes. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed my huge Dollar Tree haul, and I will talk with you later. Bye.